Hey there, thanks for joining me again. In the last video, we signed up for Luxonis Hub and got logged into our dashboard for the first time. In this video, I'll show you around the user interface and explain a few concepts that will be beneficial as you get started with your own cameras and perception applications. From a high level, the interface is pretty straightforward and simple to navigate. We developed Luxonis Hub to make it as easy as possible to get up and running with your Luxonis camera, deploy your first perception application, and then of course, build your own apps. As you would expect, your username in the upper right hand corner is where you'll find your user settings as well as your team settings. Those are pretty simple, so I won't go into detail here. Just know that that's where they're located. The main dashboard provides an overview of your devices as well as links to documentation and how-to articles that help get you started. I'll get more into that in a minute. It's important to note here that in the context of Luxonis Hub, we define a device as a host that the Luxonis Hub agent is running on, and it can be connected to multiple cameras. The navigation pane on the left-hand side is where you can view and manage your devices in the devices section, deploy and manage apps in the apps section, and then collect and manage events and other data gathered by your robots in the collect section. This new account doesn't include any devices yet, so let's jump over into my other account where I've already got some set up. This is a test account that I set up for my own testing purposes. You can see here that I've already connected a device and tested a few others. The process of connecting a device is very straightforward. You start with clicking the connect device button and selecting which type of agent you want to install. Now Ray is our robotic access for everyone project and setup on that is a little different. So I won't go into that here. For the majority of us, we'll need to select custom Linux install. Now it's important to note here, the agent requirements are pretty specific, including Ubuntu 20.04 and 22.04, 64-bit, or Raspberry Pi OS, also 64-bit. I've installed the agent on all of these operating systems, and the process is the same regardless. You simply copy and paste this command into the command line, and that's it. I currently have a camera set up on my Raspberry Pi 5, and it works great. It also works on previous versions of Raspberry Pi as well. One of the great things about Luxonis cameras is that we run the perception app, or the model, on the camera itself, which reduces the load on the host system and allows you to use things like Raspberry Pis. So let's click in and I'll show you around a bit. When I click into the device, I see an overview, including things like the name, agent version, information about the host system, including RAM and disk utilization, the perception apps I have installed, and the status of any connected cameras. In this case, I have an Oak D Pro wide camera connected. For additional detail, you can click into the sections across the top where you'll find things like perception apps, where you can also install applications from, the connected cameras, including their status, a list of recent events, even a web terminal, which allows you to log in and control the host remotely, as well as some additional settings for the host device itself. For the purpose of this video, I clicked through them pretty quickly. I'm saving the detail for other videos. For now, I hope this gave you a good idea of how to navigate the Luxonis Hub interface and how to get started with your first camera. In the next video, I'll walk you through the process of deploying your first perception app, which is where the fun really starts. Thanks for sticking with me, and I'll see you in the next one.